Here is how to get started with Midjourney in minutes. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? The first thing you need is a Discord account. Discord can be used as an app on your phone. You can install it as a software or just use it in the browser. You go up here to the lock in button and then down here it says register. Click on that, fill out the information and simply register to Discord. The second step is to go to midjourney.com. Here is a sign in button and once you click this, it will ask you to authorize midjourney.com with your Discord account. Once you're signed in there, it will bring you to your midjourney gallery. That should be empty because you haven't done anything so far, but there is a community feed that you can use to look at the creations of other people. So the next thing you need to do is to join the official midjourney Discord. For that, I have provided a link below, but you can also scan the QR code you're seeing right now on the screen. Once you have joined, here are the important rooms for you. In trial support, you can ask questions for beginners about the account, about everything you need to know. To use the Midjourney bot, go to one of these newbie rooms here. Down here in the text entry, you enter a slash and then write imagine and it will already suggest it to you. So click on that. And in that box, you write what you want Midjourney to create for you. Now, if you want to go for a subscription with Midjourney right away so you can use all of the features and have a private chat with the bot, you want to go again to trial support, click in the text box down here, write slash sub. It will suggest subscribe to you and then select that, hit enter and you get this link here. Click on that and then click on yep to open up that link. And this is the manage subscription page where you can subscribe to one of these plans. I want to highly, highly suggest to you not to get the $10 plan because I can guarantee you, you will use the $10 in the first one or two days playing around with Midjourney because this does not have a relax mode where you get free GPU time. Instead, choose the $30 plan. I know that's a lot of money, but think about the thousands of images you are going to create with that. With the $30 plan, you can use the relax mode, which gives you unlimited GPU time. In the last month alone, I created over 4,000 images. Once you're finished creating the subscription, go back to this journey into the newbie room and look for one of the Midjourney bot messages because now you can go into a private room with the bot. Right click on that, click here on message and this will automatically enter you into a chat with the bot. So only you can use the chat. It's much easier to find your own images. You can have three images rendering at the same time and 10 images in the queue waiting to be rendered next. But also keep in mind that everything you're creating in this private chat with the Midjourney bot will still end up in your public profile on midjourney.com. So everybody can see the images and everybody can read the prompts you have used and also copy these prompts over. All of the images you create on Midjourney with a paid subscription are owned by you and you can use them in any way you want. But if you have a free trial version of Midjourney, you can only use them under the Creative Commons non-commercial license. So you cannot sell or use the images commercially. If you need more help with Midjourney, check out these two videos that I've already created. And also in the Midjourney bot rooms, you can type slash help, enter and enter again. And you get this list with a lot of helpful links and information. And that's it, my friends. Have fun crafting prompts and see you soon. Bye.